Please give it up for Mr. Thomas Wamos. What's up, Vienna? How you doing? Awesome. That is very unexpected, enthusiastically. We've just spent five days touring around Austria. It's wonderful to be back. We... Oh, hey. How you doing, guys, Shara? Long time no see. We met at Vine Co. when I was in my penguin outfit and uh, working as a waiter. It was wonderful. Yeah, right? So we just spent five days touring around Austria. It's uh, wonderful to be back. We went to Innsbruck, Salzburg, Linz, Graz, and now here. So this is the fifth day. As you can see, it's still a bit scrambled. Yeah. We almost, the fun thing about doing this whole thing, in the five days, we almost got into three and a half fights. Nothing to do with comedy. At all. It was insane. Twice we were uh, rejected from our apartment by people who don't own the apartment. <laughs> it was just guys like, yeah, you guys probably don't live here, so no. It's like, but we have a key. Yeah, still no. <laughs> you speak English, eh. Once we offended some Austrians because we thought, uh, we said, hey, Germany is great. They have 24 seven shops. And they said, oh, fuck you. <laughs> this is the end of this. No. <laughs> you said the same thing? Oh, you would have, are you German? Hell no. That's, ah, you're playing to both sides, I can see. It's like, I love the Germans, but I also live here, so I want to stay on the good side of Austrian. Ah, it's fantastic, man. It was really great. And then the half of the fight was when uh, one of the comedians, lady, was trying to be picked up by a 70-year-old drunk Austrian man. And we just said, sorry, but I'm afraid the lady is taken. And he very eloquently, with all the Austrian charm, responded, we don't want to fuck her. I was like, oh, in that case, sure. That's, that was our main worry. That was... 